Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 432nd edition of the Miked Up Practice Round. I am Jeremy Colling, joined by Paul Ulibarri. Welcome back. Sir, it's good to be here. We are here at the hallowed grounds. Leicester, Massachusetts, Maple Hill Gold, mm -hmm. top-ranked course in the country. Is it? Top-ranked course in my heart. Eh. Love this place. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it is, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, Favorite course yeah. in the country? Oh, uh, no, but... Uh, why are you putting me it? Why are you putting that on me, <laughs> Boston? I love you. Of but. course, of course, yeah. we've got a special guest today. What do you want to say about him? Well, my alter ego. Your alter ego. Is that who it is? You could say that. It's your words. Oh, well, but it's Calvin. It's Calvin. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> what up, Calvin? How you doing? Good. How are you doing? It's been since last year's Ledgestone since we've had you as a practice guest. Yeah. You've ditched the Milwaukee Bucks hat. Yeah, I don't have that anymore. I don't know what happened to it. I think you guys had a little bet off screen. Something happened to that thing. Maybe you got burned up a little bit. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah. It's possible. I think I gave it away to Zach. Yeah. I don't know if Zach. Uh -huh. I know you gave it. it away. He ain't selling that thing. <laughs> well, we were at the second playoff event. Uh huh. First week was last week at Vermont. Yep. What does that mean to you going um, into practice? I mean, it's just a new format for our points. It's actually kind of more similar to the national tour points that we used to have, where we had a finale where the points automatically counted. Mm -hmm. um, I think realistically, the way it looks, it's really just points champions down to probably Paul or Rick. So yeah, doesn't I mean this yeah, is just hey, another. You're locked into that top eight, right? So you gotta you gotta probably. buy to those semis. Yeah, pretty yeah. sure I do. That's so. great. Some of us have to work pretty hard this week to get in to the uh, to the first round of 32. But there's obviously a lot of important things going on. Probably more important this week for those guys that are in that bubble area. But yeah. obviously, if you can jump from the from that first round into a second round buy and second round into a semis buy, that would be huge because that money jumps up big time. Obviously, a really important practice round. We only have two days before the event starts. The event is a four-round event with a cut after the third round. And we have got a, a condensed field. I, th I don't know how big the field is. Do you know if it's like... I think we could probably sure. talk about this on the course. Yeah, all right, let's get started. Action. <laughs> yeah, you can't throw, you can dance like the Hole one, Maple Hill. Top ranked hole one on tour. Iconic, 853 feet. To clear the pond, you're looking at over 400, but it's downhill a little bit. The only time that really becomes problematic for the guys on tour is if there's a bunch of wind you want to try to land it on that road if you can. Second shot is going to be a blind approach through the rock wall, off to the right just a little bit, out of bounds, starting at the rock wall and pinching into that peninsula green. If you're behind a Christmas tree here on your approach, probably going to be thinking about laying up because you do not want to start off with a five on hole one. We got a, we got a thing where we do $500 to charity because we like charity. We like giving money away to, to those who need it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to play first shot, obviously. Uh -huh. Second shots, if you want to throw, just don't let Joey see you because he gets really annoyed about it. Also, I have a gift for you. Okay. Are you interested in trying to throw these? Yeah, I'll try I'd one. I would love for I, you to throw these things. I'll give it a shot. I got a disc that's probably kind of similar currently that I'm bagging. It's just the Quasar because it's just something they, yeah. they gave me. The Qua I is the Quasar the boss mold from Millennium? I think so. It's very, yeah, it's very similar. It's very bosh -ish. I don't think it's going to go as far, but it's probably... I've seen a couple of people throw those. Like uh, These are Johnson's overstable. Throw. These are, yes. like, really overstable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this one's in my bag. Well, actually, I haven't thrown it yet, but you can throw this thing today. And then at the end of the day, I'll give you a fresh one. Okay, cool. This is, like, obviously the probably best place to throw it. It's not, like... Hole one and hole 11 are probably the only two spots where... This is my really... first throw since the last throw at the World Championships. Really? Yeah. How you feeling? How stable is this? Pretty good. Might as well send it, I guess. felt it. Sweet. How's it? It turns a little bit, but it's what's, not. I wouldn't call it What's flipping. your favorite color? The blacks have I found, I've found to be most overstable. But So are they your favorite color, or are they just the most stable? The blues and the blacks probably are my two okay. favorites. Give it a go. All right, let's do it. Is this a trick? <laughs> Is he tricking me into throwing it in the water? No, he gives them to everybody and then they boom them, actually. <laughs> it's actually annoying. They're like, oh, I need like 10 of those. Shoot. It's a good angle. 
Not not good accuracy. Every day. Alright. There's a few holes you could throw this on. 11, 10, 12. 12, yeah. Yeah. 12 Safe. has a new tee that's farther back a little bit. Safety okay. First. And it makes the ceiling lower on the tee shot. It's gonna be more of like a forced ante now. Okay. All it's right. only like 60 feet farther back, but it makes a big difference. All right. Not bad oh, for the first throw back. <laughs> See how hey, you go, Mr. Boss. Man. Did you notice that I wore my, I don't even know if these are gazelles or toucans anymore because of you. In my mind, those are definitely That's overstable. <laughs> it goes far. It's definitely overstable. <laughs> yeah, right? It's money. I love that you just went with it. We've lost them. We've lost the hosts of this show. It's just me. We're going to play a really fast practice round now. It's going to be great. I don't know what we're going to call this episode. I don't know what they're normally called. Practice rounds. All right, well, we'll call it something special. Practice round with Calvin. Calvin! What? Can I take my second one? If I can take my second one. Yes. All right, well, I just got a better shot. <laughs> Here, I threw your disc off. Do you want to you wanna throw one of these? Um, what do you got? They're Dracos. I'm supposed, these are what I'm supposed to promote here today. You have an so, agenda? Yeah, I have an agenda here. We're, uh, we're releasing these uh, quantum, lunar quantum Dracos on a flight factory. Got a couple of different stamps here. Pizza delivery. I'll trade you. If you give me a boss, I'll give you a Draco. Got a, whatever <laughs> one here. <laughs> whatever you're feeling here. Let's see, yeah, heck yeah. All right. I have, not, I have never tried a Draco before. Are we gonna basically just throw the same discs all around, like Halo Boss and Quantum Draco? <laughs> I, need a, I need a flippier disc, unfortunately, for this shot, so maybe I'll throw it as a second. Is that, is that, you know what? I'll do it. Jeremy, I'm parked. Sick. Did you park it? No. Oh. I laid up. I think he laid up That's into the out of bounds. That's gonna be out of bounds, I think. Oh, lucky duck. Lucky truth. Safe. All, All right, right, let's try this Draco stuff here. What I, do you think? I've never thrown this run. I should have done this. Hey, huh? That seemed pretty good. Out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good until you hit that. All right. All right. Well, I'll give it the same thing a shot here, Draco. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh God. that's going to be back well, door. I think, I think they're about 100% out of bounds rate. <laughs> 100% OB. <laughs> Over two. <clears throat> Stock for the Dracos just plummeted. Yeah, this is rough. This is a rough start. I feel like I'm not doing my job very well. <laughs> you did a good job. You, you handed it off. We threw it. It's got some video time now. What were you saying about not wanting to start with a five on this one? <laughs> What's that? Not what? wanting to start off with a five. Yeah, you, that's... What were you talking about? I think I was talking about what you don't want to do. Huh. What about a six? Six is fine, but you don't want a five. Do I run it for a six? Oh, I went out of bounds too. Safe guy over here, just getting his par. <laughs> Nina, Nina. He's getting strokes on us. Like right. Give yourself a looky. Like here? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh God. Ugh. There's a wall. <laughs> Thank you, oh my gosh, it's because I left the sticker on this one. Dummy. Rookie mistake. Rookster. Star. Oh. You were in bounds, right, Jim? No, I was out. What the? Looks like our leader through one might be a Mr. Paul. I think we should just stop now and go get lunch. Can we at least like play hole two back up the hill or something? Why did someone leave a yeah. mushroom on the basket? Is that uh -huh. supposed to power me up? Maybe it, yeah, I think so. The Only last if you thing use Alan it. and I need to do is get 30% bigger. Hole two, 381 feet. They put up some blockers down there for a germ and a roller. And then if you throw it straight with a little turn down and, and drift, people don't like when I say drift, and drift it to the right, 
you could get a birdie putt. And that's up to you whether you want to or not. How did I do back? I posted that picture a couple weeks ago. You did fine. Oh, thanks. About this whole having those, those rocks there. Oh, gosh. And so many people were like, oh, why'd they do that? I think it's a great thing. I think the shot was intended to be an air shot here. And if you want to roll the dice and throw the roller, go for it. Still can. People are just Ooh. upset because they like to play in the wall. They like yeah. to play the roller into the wall. The whole point of this is to scare that pinch point as the air shot flexes. Yeah, learn to throw a shot like this. Yeah. Nerds. Learn to drift. Drift. Please Dink, that doink. kick right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the, the point of this hole is to go OB. It's the risk you Out take. Out of the bounds. You throw your shot. Thanks. On the roller. Okay, that's pretty cool. Could skip over the wall though. Please skip over the wall. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? No, I hardly, I've hardly ever gone sidearm on this hole. This is like a new play for me. Finally got a big enough sidearm to make it there. <laughs> Just inch by inch, year by year. That's what oh, I'm following said. Mr. Yuli. No, -uh. Kick left. You get the love. Maybe, I think that's maybe safe. not. Maybe not. Oh. All right, we're all tied at one OB, unless Calvin stayed OB. Unless then, I'm then in. I'm going leading. for records. I could be in. It bows out right there. It does, a bit. I remember when we used to play from there. That never happened, right? No. Oh, no. no. This is one of the OGs. Yeah, hole one's a OGT, minus the developments that they've put into the, uh, the new tee. But the position's always been the same. Um, I've been practicing these in my yard is all I've been able to play because my bag's been in the tour car. So. I have a lot of practice with this shot right now. Dink, dink, boink. Why are you thinking that? Because he rocks her in my run up. Yeah, I think so too then. Yeah, exactly. That makes so much sense. We can roll back the film though. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> I put myself where I thought I was gonna hit my hand. Cheating see, never works. Is my eagle in bounds up there or no, Germ? To your right? I think it is. You're in bounds. Oh, that's lucky. Sometimes it pays to shank it. Raw talent. Better than over there. That's fair. Up the hill we go. Nope. I need to finish okay. this. All right. So Easy three. Out over here. If I make this, I got to... A big time lead. That is true. By big time, you mean one stroke? Yeah, that's big time in these days. Big oh, time. Woo! Big turn, big time. Shing. Shing. Oh, here we are. Hole three, Maple Hill Gold, 407 feet. Very straight shot. Uh, fairway has a little bit of a bend in it, but overall, if you can throw it dead straight, you'll get to the hole. Oh, you're a sidearm guy now? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who that doesn't are make sense. you? So you got a putt? That doesn't make sense on that, this hole. That meme. Wait a minute. Who are you? No? I'm not familiar. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, like these sleeves. Well, Hmm. Are you a social media guy? No, slightly. I got him on Facebook. Oh, no! Come on, do the thing! Not quite. That was inches from perfection! It was... Oh my gosh, dude. All it's right. slick. It's very All slick. Right. Bonus shot. Damn. I got a question for I need audience. that thing. All right, look, we all understand we all love Frisbees. But why do, like, why is it, like, that we all have to use a frisbee as a mini. It's a little bit bulkier. These little plugs that Trash Panda's made for me. It's just recycled star plastic. Toss her on up. Whoop. Swing on back. Nice shot. That'll do. That was short. 
<laughs> that was short. No, that's off right. We still have a chance. That's in. Huh? That's um, from I'm still Kiefer. in it. This might not be a bonus birdie for most people, but I've definitely oh, put it geez. in bonus birdie for Tester. many peoples of the world. Excuse me, guys. I got a tester. Sorry, we'll make sure to be quiet. Thanks. Shh. How did we? How did we used to make testers? You just passed the test. Annie. Well, that's him trying to trick me. <laughs> All right, hole four, 246 feet, classic Maple Hill hole, straight down the hill towards the water. They've added the mandatory over here. I believe last year there might have been a net to deter the forehand Anheuser shot. Now it's just a mandatory, clean things up a bit. Everyone's got to go straight down the gut. Some people we've seen jump putt. There's been backhand soft throws. We've seen sidearms, tomahawks, all sorts of ways of doing it. But Either way, you gotta get to go straight. <laughs> I'm going thummies for the first. This is the well, first thummies? time I've ever thrown one off a tee. Well, are you really doing thumb thumbs? I think so. I'm looking at it. Beth like, was doing thumber last year, I believe. I think it's the play. Yeah. Hopefully, I can show you the. How the did the, you need something that flips fast or late? You would want something fast. Fast flip. Okay. Yeah, you want something quicker, so like not a raptor, a unless heat? you get the flippy raptor. This is a heat. That's yeah, maybe a little bit That's slower flip flipping that. No. Go. Yeah. All right. Cool. You'll I don't figure think it out. You guys are right about it. Well, what I know I'm about trying. thumbs? Not much. With you don't own my arm. <laughs> sure. Looks like Shoot. the thumber might be the play. <laughs> <laughs> deeter, deeter. I'm so stupid. I think. Um, but you do know angles better than my arm. Man, that's the first thumber in a while. Well, you're not looking out there. No, but what angle? To... Calvin's thummy. Dang, that was so easy. <laughs> Go get yourself one at flightfactory.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I got my flippy raptor. That's, That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah your yeah. flippy raptor makes sense. And then we just oh, I think it. I think just straight vertical. Yep, down. straight vertical. You don't even have to throw it that hard. It just okay. downhill carries it. How do you do the run up? Like a... The baseball crow hop. Okay. Yep. There you go. God, it's annoying. Oh, I'm doing that all day, every day. Oh, that's annoying. Dude, I'm good at thumbers on this. Gosh. You've been finding cop-out ways of playing this hole for years. I'm sick and tired <laughs> of it. I know. I used to throw oh, was this a thumber? Backdoor. No, I was the courageous air shot. <laughs> the courageous <laughs> air shot. Not out here, so we're Luckily. I know, right? Have the courage. He had the courage to lay up. Nice shot, though, dude. That was cool. That was cool. Try a thumb Way from there, dude. Way cooler than your missed putt coming up. Hey, man. I'm not gonna lie. That kind of tweaked my arm a little. Yeah, it's okay it though. Made it stronger. <laughs> I'm not a wimp. <laughs> Here's the bad news. You haven't been throwing that much. Here's the good news. Stronger. I'm stronger. You guys think this tree's gonna make it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, looks like somebody's been just hammering golf balls into it. The heck? Oh, this thing. The one. I'm surprised your thumber didn't take it down, strong boy. Well, I think before it was a healthy looking regular. <laughs> okay, so this is the after. Pine tree. This is the after. after <laughs> that I hit yeah. it. And I'm it kind exploded of the, from I the inside I actually don't out. trust its Two winter supplies, longevity here. I'm going to move exactly. to the side. Worst case scenario, it takes out half the drum that's screw. <laughs> that, that's pretty bad. Case scenario. Am I like a, do I thumb it from here too? Yes. <laughs> That's how I know you're not on my team. I don't know how to break it to hey. you, but this is nice an individual done. sport. <laughs> <laughs> Thummies, dude. 100% off the tee in my crotch. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh. Man. All right, I guess that's the play we're going to see this year. Thumbers yeah. are so easy. God, Cal, remember when we were just dumbing along and... <laughs> Getting birdies. Hey, like this, Jeremy. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> hole five, 262 feet. Water carry the whole time unless you want to go to the right side and play down this super lucky gap. 
A lot of people do that kind of down the stretch when they've had a good start. And then it's a kind of an island, so if you miss it, you go to a drop zone that's really scary too, and then you take a five no matter what. So don't do that. I, I've first off just noticed that he was doing the, uh, the whole basketball shot thing. I did not realize that he was basketball shotting a personal pizza. Yeah. That's sweet. Got his logo, it pizza delivery man. Pizza. He might be I'm like an extra it. like 40 pounds worth of muscle in this picture than I actually have. You've got beautiful bright blue eyes here mm -hmm. on this one, you can tell. Also, I, I got a mustache. I don't know if I can get a second. <laughs> left in a little dirt, that's yeah. sweet. Cool. It almost looked like there, there's pepperonis in your hair. Yeah, and this one, I'm also jacked in this one. Apparently I'm much bigger than I think I am. Is that not how you see yourself? No. No. no, sorry, like, you see that bicep? <laughs> Why does this feel like 400 feet? Why did he steal my box? Oh. Yeah, yeah. You guys part the hole before. Oh, yeah. The hole yeah, you before. bogeyed, you remember? I got lucky. I threw a work shot. I forgot about your thumber. Yeah. It was really good. It was sick. Did he do oh, it that could do it. Did he do it again? No, shorty boy. Nope. Park. Short. So good, though. Get it height and then throw it far. That's looking the tree like is gonna it's be safe. safe, right? Oh, parked. Now, now it might be parked. Don't talk to my discs. I will talk to your discs. Hey, nice shot, Paul. That would be a good one. Should <laughs> <laughs> I try the bummer here? I don't feel like that's a good play. You could land on the little box. Uh, it's pretty wide. That's perfect. It's pretty wide. Nice shot. Oh my gosh. Some people trust right, it this way, other. You're right. Going You're right good. You probably average 975 when you want an 06. I think less, maybe. 06. I, I think it was less. I think it was like 960. It was tough, though. I mean, whew. I never won M World, so. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't really understand. Yeah, you don't. I don't get, get it. it. I took seventh once, though. You actually played Air Worlds? Yep. What year? 2013. Well, I guess it's me. We have we have four or five Am World champs in Charlotte right now. Like just the, just in the uh, MA1. If you take FA1 and all the other divisions, oh, it's got to be 25. We're at hole six, 390 feet. This is probably one of the hardest par threes on this course. Uh, birdie is very difficult. It's very straight fairway, baskets to the right. Uh, a lot of people throw forehands. I'm just trying to throw straight, not even trying to get to the basket. Just hopefully I have a long putt coming back up at it. If you ace this hole, I think it would be the top ace ever on yeah. tour. Yeah, that's why I'd try. Like more than Garrett's par four, I think. This is way more impressive than that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like what would, what would top this as far as aces? I don't know. Acing hole 16 here is pretty sick. Honestly, yeah, and Gavin Babcock and Kevin. They've both done that. Yeah. But this hasn't been done, so maybe it's more impressive. 16 stupid. Gavin got lucky. You can Kevin take went. a bigger number on this one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Here we go. Josh uh oh, Allen was that's really Four. bad. Thank our you. first pick overall. Thank Me. you for yelling. Yeah, I, I got Stefan Diggs and Oops. Justin Jefferson. Oh boy, that is so. Was that good. early? No. Oh. Right in the oh, fairway. Safe. Dang, it turned too quick. I thought that was at the yeah. right point. Tua had a had a day. Don't kick left. It's not. It's not going to. It's gonna it's go perfect. all the way. Oh, that's how you skip ace it. Last year I did something I never thought I'd do on this one, Calvin. What'd you do? I went into the last round with an opportunity to birdie it all three times. Wow. Uh, I did not think that I, at one point I didn't think I'd ever get, get a two on it just because that it back door. It used to be a par four. It used to be a par four. Yeah. And the back door was tighter. The spot that like most of us are aiming now used to be way more condensed with trees. Yeah. And it sure. wasn't really accessible. Now you have two, two routes to go for in this hole. Yeah, we're good here. Is that gonna work? Nice shot, buddy. Dang, boy. Really nice. Thanks, 
Sometimes you just got a feeling through the first six. Yeah, but then you par and you're under par and then you go birdie. birdie and then you're birdie, just birdie, like, birdie, and it's like your best round you've ever played. It's true. And you did The first seven holes shot. here are pretty important. Yeah. I, I can't walk down this fairway wearing a toucan in my shirt without thinking about what happened two years ago on this fairway. It honestly, one of the, the, my favorite moments in disc golf history. Yulabar, you're confusing a gazelle and a, a toucan. And to this day, I still don't know which one's which because of Paul's confusion. It's one of my favorite moments in disc golf. The gazelle's a bird, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kind of a good one. It was, who were the two fighters? It was, uh, it was, it was just Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz, but who, he was talking to, um, huh? He was talking to, uh, Connor. Connor, yeah, Connor yeah, I got Gregor you. and Nate Diaz were having a conversation and, oh God. O'Connor was saying something about, I'm going to smash you like a gazelle or something? Thanks. No, you look like a flabby gazelle. You look something. like a flabby gazelle. Basically what I was telling you. <laughs> Nate Diaz's response is, no one knows what a gazelle is. This is America. <laughs> <laughs> and of course I get that message from Yuli. Uh, I said, I'm not the only one, dude. There you go. Go the people. Is that all one? Number one fan. Number one fan right there. Nice. Should have cost me more than just a par. <laughs> no, I know, but when you do something silly, you mess it up. Wow. You can do it again. Do it again. That doesn't count. I was talking to your caddy, so you can blame him or me. No, I just, I actually didn't really miss. I just went right in this one spot. All right, hole seven's 404 feet straight up the hill from the road. You've got a very specific alleyway where you have to kind of go straight with a backhand flip up and then move your way left. It's really hard to park this hole unless you challenge that straight, straight gap, in which case your disc is going through about a four or five foot wide gap. You can also perhaps late flip a sidearm, is what I'm gonna to try to do, around that tree that sticks out in the middle of the road and just try to go straight and maybe fade right. But like I said, parking this one hole, you very rarely ever see it. Most birdies are made with long putts. I, I don't think there's a better feeling in the world on this course for me than birdie in this hole because this one is just so Sidearm. so hard i'm surprised you don't try to actually flip it on purpose what do you mean i do try to flip it I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you it's raining mean? you need to go finally the uh, rain came it's actually time to get some slow birdies. down because we're in the woods right now this is this is the sound of birdies coming up are you nice shot dude hold are you typically like really good in the rain sometimes me too. Was that even my box? Like, it wasn't yeah. me. I took a four, maybe a I five. Four. We don't know oh, yeah, if yeah, I was yeah, out of bounds or not. Yes, yes. I got a four. Yep. I thought it was my box. It was. All right. All right. Oh, baby. Oh, oh too oh, flippy. Sick. Too flippy. Was it slippery or not? Here on this hole? Uh, I'm probably the wrong That's person to cool. ask. A little maple leaf? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have Dude, issues with absolutely. cheap sides very often. Okay. I don't think it was yeah. slick, but. Oh boy, having that because you could be, you could see it across the lake, the maple. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Like Dang, it's finally happening, Paul. We're getting some some rain in the practice round. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I should ruin my reputation right now by saying what I want to say. Mm-hmm. How's your reputation not already ruined? I'm not saying that it is, but I'm like, if it weren't already ruined, what would you do to make it worse? <laughs> yeah, that would ruin your reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I think save that one for later. All right. I didn't know you felt that way. Oh yeah, for years and years. I went, you know, poof. Donzo, toasted oatsies. This is my favorite tournament. Yeah. Yeah, it's for me the the evaluating the uh, the greatness of it is not just the 18 holes, you know, like the history of the, yeah. the old Vibram Open back when it was that, and then mm -hmm. Maple Hill Open back in the days when they had all the side events and the whole atmosphere up there at the top. The gambling up at the 18th green as people are coming always in. something going on. Yeah. Hey, Joey. Check this line out. I'm gonna throw a hydro flip late turn sidearm master. Hmm. 
Oh, I did it. That's so close to perfect. Really? Mm -hmm. What did I you know, there's, get? There's a, there's a great place for party events in disc golf because that's just what kind of, that's what our sport kind of nurtures. Uh huh. There's also a great place for professional level events. And this was like the first place that ever married those two, I think. I think you're probably right. Yeah. At least did so successfully. Short. Are you trying to go for it? Yep. Nice. Dang it. Jeremy, I'm going to say it. Don't do it, dude. <laughs> it's not worth it. You got fans. I'm going to say it. Has Paul gone? He just let go. The putt has landed. All right, I see it. Paul, don't do it. Don't do it. Are you losing your mind? No. Hole eight, 365 to the basket. Water cover the entire way. This is where everybody goes back there and ooh, yay or no yay, and they cheer you on and it makes you feel fuzzy inside. There's nobody there today, but we could still try our best. This wall is stout. Heck yeah, now you can actually get pretty aggressive with it. Is it where the Obi-Wan is? Yeah, that, that's actually important to know if it's like off the uh, the wall a bit. That's not wild. Wow. Is it swinging? Gosh, yeah, it is. It is swinging. It's so bad. That's close. That's close. Oh, that's not good. I'm going in the other pond that you can't see. Well, maybe it's safe. No, I, I don't think so. Did it go over it? Uh, yeah, I ca it caught some trees over there. I don't know if I'm trying. I don't think not. I can do it. I can't grip it kind of good. You got a finger thing? So no, it's just that I have to do this. Do you have more tape? Yeah. Go. Yeah. I think it's great. It's fine. Wow, I, I got one more. Just actually commit to a shot, please. Oh, thanks, man. That looks to be good. Yeah, just good. barely. Nice. Oh, no. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Save my par. Whoop, whoop. Nice par. <sighs> oh, this one out there. Ooh. Dang it. Dang it. I really tried. Thank you. Hey, I'm fishing for fireflies, the, and then I'm going to fish for the, um, the hoggers. Yep, he keeps biting, but he ain't holding on. Yeah, there it is. Fireflies are notoriously known for catching the, uh, the day crawlers. Got watch out here. They snap out. Oh. Bit back a little bit. Oh. Whew, that's a... That's a generous meter, I believe. Oh, just a double bogey for me, boys. All right, we're here at hole nine, 400 foot par three. Um, basically plays as a par four. Everyone's just gonna be trying to get up and over the hill to the right some and probably pitching over to the green. You'll occasionally see, I guess, what is now called a birdie, but three is a good score on this hole. Maybe this just isn't a good camera angle. This isn't a hole where you get your shot. Are you good? All right. Oh my God, that's an that. insta bogey. <laughs> you did that. Wait. <laughs> 
Why is everything wet? Rain. See when the clouds right build up with the condensation, they release the pressure, the atmospheric the water comes down. It seems like rain, but it's just. Oh, that's weird. He hit the fairway. Was it turning or did it hyzer out? Am I, I'm hoping it didn't go left. That's what I'm concerned yeah. about. Yeah. Usually I got the power to flip that thing. That's my roller. Do you think that that hole at GBO, not Worlds, GBO, was more of a par four than this one, or do you think this is more hole of three? a par four than or this one? A hole four? Yeah. This is more of a par four. Yeah, agreed. Absolutely agree. This 400 foot hole is more of a par four huh. than that 600 foot Wait hole. Wait for Bogue. Yep. This looks a lot worse from here than it does from two steps over there. Okay. It's pink. All right. All right, here we good. Yeah, You're I'm on good the other with side it. Of that tree, probably. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Paul. I'm kidding. Joking, man. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'll get up and down from here, you douchers. I was kidding. <laughs> this is really tough. And I hate that I'm going to lose a disc over it, but I'm stubborn. <laughs> brilliant, lad. Brilliant. Oh, he almost lost a cameraman over it. <laughs> That'll do. All right, how do I do the cool Paul thing and make it? Oh, uh, yeah. Same thing? That was a very good height. It was closer. Lovely. I think you're right, actually. Now that you say that. Just flick the wrist. Give it a little spin. A little bit of angle. Oh! Cool. If only that was a Toro. It probably would have stabled up in time. I think you basketball put it. I can't do that. Sorry, Trioli. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I like my Annie putt, you know? How I do this move. That's why I got the steady. Like that. I guess that works. Nice you kind of had a defender in your way on the basketball putt. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Is that your approach? Basketball. Yeah, that's where I got a putt from. Right. Basketball, that thing. I don't think I really can from here. There's literally a defender in my face. In between them? Maybe just around here. To... Uh, definitely oh, yeah, not. That was good. Too wide of a stance. <laughs> Who shoots like that anyways? I think I've bogeyed every hole back here. <laughs> or in, in here. <laughs> it's fine. I don't think it was going in, was it? Oh, God. I double bogeyed this one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I work, but I worked yeah. Sorry, Calvin. I was. I thought you were done. All right, that's the front nine is over. Kind of, kind of beat us up a little bit. Slick tees, rain. Also, not being good at disc golf sometimes. Also, kind Most of like this. Yeah. Uh, two over for me. Two over for me. Jeez, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> three up. I think three over. We'll pencil them in for two down. Yeah, <laughs> all right, we're all tied at two under. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, really, no changes mm -mm. that that drastic really no. anything to stand out um yeah i feel like it's the same place you just get punished it's a very punishing course if you're off your line you gotta throw straight shots or if you're if you're a, even on your line kind of what do you think Calvin? i think we've demonstrated how not to play the front <laughs> nine <laughs> right, we we're a combined 13 over <laughs> <laughs> that's not how you do that it took lots of edits to get finish. to this <laughs> That's up for the front nine. We got, uh, we got nine more holes, or we're gonna get under par for our final score. We're gonna win the tournament at four under, probably, because that's <laughs> the winning score this weekend. But uh, but stick around. We got more entertainment and more practice coming. <laughs>